Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here. Today I wanna to bring you guys a short video about how I got into medical tourism. Now, one thing I try to do with my short videos uh, here on YouTube and other social media platforms is answer common questions. And this is one question I get a lot. I, I talk to a lot of people in the medical tourism industry over the telephone and sometimes they'll just say, hey, how did you get into medical tourism? So I thought I'd make this short video just addressing that question. So just for starters, I've always been into business. Um, after high school, I went to a business university. While I was in high school, I always read business books. I just always been intrigued with business. And so when I got into the medical tourism industry, one of the good things about it was I was able to work with a lot of startup businesses. And I had studied business my whole life up until this point. But before I got into the medical tourism industry, I was in the diabetic supply space. And so what I would do in that industry is I would make sure the diabetic patients had their insulin, make sure they had their booties for their feet so their feet wouldn't swell, and just making sure they had everything they needed to lead a healthy life as a diabetic patient. And then I was recruited by a medical tourism company. It was a nonprofit uh, association. And at that association, uh, my job was to work with their members. I was a senior membership coordinator. But uh, another job I had was to help them put on annual conferences in the medical tourism space. And between putting on medical tourism conferences and my duties as a senior membership coordinator, working with medical tourism facilitators, working with hospitals, doctors, clinics, working with everybody in the medical tourism space, as well as people from around the world, I got a really unique insight into what issues they faced and what challenges they faced. And then it was my job to come up with solutions to help them grow their business and to help them start their business. And I really took the medical tourism facilitators because they were really passionate about medical tourism and they were really passionate about starting their businesses and they needed help and they faced a unique set of challenges. So I spent a lot of my time researching how to help these people. And over this period of time, when I was working with all these startup medical tourism facilitators, I came up with different techniques and systems to help them grow their businesses and help them start their businesses. And I really got a chance to see why some medical tourism facilitators succeeded and why others failed. And I took note of all this. And so I it was, it was kind of like my apprenticeship. I really took a lot of notes. I, I came up with different plans, different systems, and I really studied medical tourism facilitators and I became extremely passionate about it. And so in 2015, we launched medicaltourismbusiness.com and our whole goal was to help medical tourism facilitators and people in the medical tourism sector grow their businesses and help them launch and to help them make sure they have the best outcomes possible. And so that's what we do right now at medicaltourismbusiness.com. Our sole goal is to help you launch your company, to help you have the best results and to help you avoid common pitfalls and mistakes that others have made in the past. And so we have everything from our certification program to our contracts, um, to books, to business plans, everything you need to be successful in the medical tourism industry, we offer it. And that came from somewhere. That came from myself, our staff studying medical tourism facilitators and medical tourism stakeholders and really seeing what it takes to be successful, not only as a medical tourism facilitator, but also as a company, as a startup company. And so if you want to know how I got into medical tourism, that's how I got into medical tourism. And if you guys have any other questions about how to grow your company in the medical tourism sector, I'm going to leave some links below. You guys can reach out to me. I'll leave my email as well as some other links. Uh, but thanks for watching this short video and, uh, and I hope to speak to you soon.